We discuss the worst things that happened to WoW, but let's talk about the best things that happened to WoW. So, making our list at number 10 is the 12 slots in the mailbox. Yes, at one point you could only mail one single item at a time. It was very long. I use the mail now as a storage for many cases because I fill up all my banks and stuff way too fast with a bunch of junk. So I use the mailbox as a essentially another bank. So it's great when I can send 12 things as opposed to one item. Um, I don't know if you remember having to do one item at a time. Please leave me a comment and let me know how much you love that. So uh, yeah, it's definitely making our list at number 10. Making our list at number 9 is Transmogrification. Yes, Transmog was a great addition to the game because it got people into old content that was nearly dead. It also boosted the prices of greens that you most likely disenchanted or vendored before. So it was really fun, and it also can give a little versatility with a character. You could be a mage and look like a priest, or you can be a warlock and look like a mage. It's all up to you. So Transmog was a really fun addition to the game, and it's going to make our list at number 9. I debated putting this one on the list because I know there are a lot of n dislikes of this one, but I put the WoW token as number 8. Now, the WoW token was a great addition because poor people like myself can actually play WoW without having to pay any money. A lot of people say the WoW token is pay to win now and stuff. I mean, if you want to look at it that way, I suppose it can be viewed that way because the big guilds on servers most usually will let you do runs for gold. So I guess you could see it as pay to win, but I think it was a great addition simply for the fact that I don't have any money and I like to play WoW and not spend money. So it made our list at number eight. I went ahead and put personal loot as number seven on our list because personal loot was a great thing for um, looking for dungeon and stuff. It avoided people being able to ninja your gear essentially, which was really good. It's kind of gotten, it's getting a change in 6.2 that'll definitely make it a lot better than it currently is. By what I've read by the patch notes, that's why it got its spot at number seven. You know, our list at number six is the disenchant button. No, not that disenchant button, silly. I'm talking about the disenchant button when you're in a group with an enchanter. Yes, when a green drops, or a blue, or an epic, or whatever it may be, the little button which you click that says disenchant. It was a great addition to the game, because in most cases, the disenchanting mats will sell for more than what the green vendors and such. Yes, it was always a pain in the booty to send all your crap over to one character so he can disenchant it all, but it's a lot easier if you're just simply in a group with your friend, and you can disenchant stuff along the way. Plus, even people who aren't enchanters can profit from this button. Great addition to the game, gonna make our list at number 6. Making our list at number 5 is, of course, group looting. Yes, group looting was a great addition to the game, because in instances like this, it would take you longer to loot all the corpses than it would to kill the, all the mobs. So, group looting is definitely going to make our list at number five, because was there anybody complaining when they introduced group looting? I mean, come on. So yeah, definitely number five for group loot. Making our list at number four is Bind on Account. Yes, Bind on Account was a great addition to the game because it meant you could play more than one character if you were a collector. If you were a collector, you pretty much were stuck to one little tune that you played forever. Uh, from all the way to Burning Crusade to Cataclysm, I only played one class, and that was a Draenei Shaman, because he was my main. I had to collect everything on him. He had to have it all. So, buying an account was more fun because I could fan out. And it let me play more things, and now I stick to just Merkle for the most part. But yeah, definitely love buying an account. I'm sure a lot of people agree on that one, so it's going to make our list at number four. List and number three is Dual Spec. Yes, Dual Spec was a great addition to the game because does anybody remember having to uh, say, oh, hold on, guys, I need to go respec before the raid? Yeah, it was always fun. Plus, 50 gold was a lot to spend swapping every single time. So they introduced Dual Spec, which when introduced was a thousand gold. Now we all know it is 10 gold, but yeah, does anybody remember when it was a thousand and then they told you it was getting switched to 10? That was pretty fun for us. But yeah, dual spec was great because, man, if you wanted to kill anything outside of a raid as a tank, it was terrible. Tanks definitely didn't do a lot of damage, so you had to go swap out. So yeah, dual spec's great. Gonna make our list number three. 
my list at number two is the introduction of achievement points. I know achievement points to some people seem stupid, but to those that care about them, it's really something fun. I mean, it gives us something to look forward to. We got plenty of things to do because unless you've completed every single achievement, you've still got something to do in a game. We got plenty to seek and plenty to do. Uh, it gave you something to do outside of raiding. I do achievement points a lot too myself. As you see, I know I don't have that many, but 18.8, .8, not bad. Love achievements. Like I said, it's mostly filler content, so you had something to do when you weren't raiding. But it was a great addition for that matter because they're silly. Some of them are stupid and give you, you know, it makes the game interesting. So it's going to be on our list for number two. Finally, making our list at number one is the collections tab. Of course, you got all your mounts, pets, toys, and heirlooms in one place. The heirlooms is the greatest, in my opinion, because that was a lot better than mailing your crap across every realm and blah, blah, blah. It's just so much better to click it. But definitely love the addition of tabs. Does anybody remember having to have the mount in your bag to use it? Mm, leave me a comment on that one. And, of course, the same with pets. Yeah, having the pets in your bag just to summon them. Always real fun. But, yeah. Equipping toys, oh, that was a bliss, you know. Having to wait 30 seconds to use it after you equip the trinket. Fun stuff for your toys. This is so much better, you know, just clicking it and using it. All fun stuff. So, yeah, love the collections tab. Great for everybody. I mean, everybody has a use for it at some point. So, definitely going to make our list at number one. Remember everyone, if you want to support Murgle Wow, please just like, share, and subscribe to my videos, and I will talk to you again soon.